Hey, Kanan here from Basin Motorsports. If you're like me, you have a heads up display bezel that has dried out and cracked on your Corvette. Well, today I'm going to show you two different options that you can use to use a bezel cover overlay to get rid of that unsightly crack. All right, so there are a few options out there for the bezel cover overlays or the covers, however you want to call them. I'm going to show you two different options that are currently available on the market as an option for a cover. What you see here on the left-hand side of your screen is gonna be a kit from RPF C5. Now again, this is the heads-up display or the HUD, the bezel retrofit kit. And on the right-hand side of your screen is gonna be a part from AMT Custom Designs. Now the RFP C5 piece comes in a complete kit. What you notice in the kit here, it has an accelerator, an adhesion, uh, instructions, gloves, alcohol wipes, and basically everything you need. On the right-hand side, on the AMT part here, what you're going to find is that it is just a cover itself. It does have some tape on the back of it to hold it down, but it's basically the part itself. It's not a complete kit. doesn't come with instructions, but I don't know that you really need them. It's pretty simple to install. Now, the things that people are going to a lot of times look for on these is going to be color, gloss, how much does it cost, are they available, do they need to be custom painted, how do they fit, etc. So what we're going to do is go through each piece to give you an idea of what it's going to take, which one you think is better for you, and then you can decide which one you want, and I'll have links to both down in the description so that you can kind of get a good look at them. Now when you look at both pieces side by side, one thing you're definitely going to notice is that they are different gloss. Now both of these are black. My interior on my Corvette is black. So one thing you're gonna see between them even though they're black is the AMT piece on the right hand side here is glossier. Now does you're thinking, does this matter really? Well, let me show you what they look like inside the car next to the OEM piece. All right, so now with both pieces placed inside under the dash, I do have the lights overhead turned off for the glare. But one thing you're going to notice is that the AMT part being the glossier matches more to the dash pad. I would think you can see the gloss difference between it and the pad, but it matching to the bezel is definitely glossier. Now the RPF C5 piece on the right of your screen is a matte black versus a gloss black, and it's going to match a little bit better to the OEM bezel. Now again, it's going to match to that, but it's going to be less glossy than your dash pad. So if you're interested in something that matches more to the OEM, I'll say the RPF C5 piece matches a little bit better for the gloss level and the color versus the AMT piece, which is to me a darker black and a glossier finish. Now, when you're looking at the fit with the AMT piece, it's gonna be a little bit larger than your bezel. It's gonna give you more coverage. It'll be closer to your defroster grill. But once you take the tape off or the tape backing off, and stick it down, it's going to firmly hold down to the dash and it's going to fit very well. You won't notice a difference. Now the RPF C5 piece is going to fit almost like an exact copy of the OEM piece. There is no extra coverage. You can kind of see there next to the defroster. It has probably something like an eighth inch difference on each side. So you have a little bit less coverage, but it's going to match. So when you adhere it down to it with the really sticky adhesive, what you're going to find is that it's going to lay exactly over your original piece and it's going to look exactly the same. Now, unless you have them side by side, you probably won't know the difference between them other than the gloss level. And really, if I didn't have them side by side, you probably wouldn't think too much about it. But the RPF C5 is almost an exact copy for the shape and size and it's going to adhere down very well where the AMT piece is a little bit larger. It's probably about an eighth inch looking at them and same, it's going to give you a little bit easier coverage with the tape as an adhesive. And again, if I lay one over the top of the other using the HUD opening in the center, you can just slightly see that the AMT piece is just a little larger. And again, I think that's probably about an eighth inch without measuring. You're probably looking at maybe uh, three, four, five millimeters, something like that. Very small difference just because I have them both. I can show you that, but uh, they are pretty darn close. 
Now, I did mention that the RPS C5 piece does come with the alcohol, the adhesive, the adhesive accelerator, etc. This comes all as the kit with it. So you can go ahead and put it on. And the adhesive says with the adhesion promoter, takes about 85 to 90 seconds before it sticks down. So you'll want to do this if you buy this kit when you go ahead and put it together. When you put the adhesive on and the adhesive promoter, when it sticks down, you're going to hold it for about 90 seconds and then it is good to go. Now, if I take the AMT piece and flip it over, you can see that it does have a few pieces of double-sided tape and that you can tell that that goes down to the windshield. So it's going to stick down in the crevice down there. And then this is going to be on the edge towards you or the rear edge. This is going to stick down and very easy to do. It takes almost longer just to take the tape backing off than to apply it. Really easy to do. Not, uh, not, not difficult. All right. Now, the one thing that everybody always wants to know about is how long does it take to get and what's the cost? So the RPF C5 piece, I'll tell you, it is about $59. You can buy it on eBay, Facebook Marketplace. There's two or three days for places to get it. $59, bucks, good deal for the whole kit. And I actually had this within, I think, about four or five days from the time I ordered it. And it was in stock, ready to go. Now the AMT piece, now this took me about five weeks to get. And it was within the time. I was warned ahead of time it's going to take four to five weeks. These are actually painted and sent to me. The kit for this is about $99, and this is for the total piece. So if price is an option, you may want to look at one of these two. And there are a couple different other options out there on the market, but this gives you a range of kind of what you want to do. You got $59 for the kit, $99 for this one. Kind of decide how you want to do it and go about it. Now the question of which one is going to be the best, well, that kind of depends on what you're really looking for. The AMT piece, I think, is probably a little bit larger. It's a little bit more forgiving, but it's a little bit more expensive. It's also a little glossier than the other from the RPFC5. If you're looking for, for an exact match to the OEM, I think this one would be the better kit. But I can tell you, after installing both of them or laying them down in there, they're both going to fit well. I think you'd be good or be happy with either result. Just choose how you want to do it, whether you want tape or adhesive. And if you want a little bit glossier, if you're a big fan of glossier dashes, maybe putting some armor all, this is going to go great with it. If you want something a little bit more matte, go with the RPF C5. Now, again, I put links to both parts or both kits down in the description. You can go and check them out there. And if you have any questions on either of these, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And hopefully that answers some of the questions of what is the best. Well, it's really the best for you. And hopefully this helps you make up that decision. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the playlist for my Corvette. Maybe I'll give you some ideas or answer some questions you have. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.